You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Destination Planet Earth, Tampa, Florida, Titan Medical Center's Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024. Take off. What's up, guys? I'm sitting here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are here at the West Shore Grand here in Tampa, Florida. And we're here for an awesome event presented by Titan Medical Center, and that is Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024. We're here for Tampa Bay Swim Week with Titan Medical Center and we're so excited to be walking the runway. Hey guys, we are getting ready for the 2024 Tampa Bay Swim Week show. We are back and ready to hit the runway with some new faces, some new designs, and I cannot wait for you guys to see what we have in store for you and prepare to be blown away. And now we're in here, we're on the way down to the rehearsal for 2024 Tampa Swim Week presented by Titan Medical Center. Titan Takeover, Titan Lifestyle. The Titan models delivered an awe-inspiring performance that captivated the audience at Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024, presented by Titan Medical Center. As they hit the runway, showcasing the latest Titan designs, their poise and confidence was simply radiant. Each model embodied the essence of the Titan Medical Center brand, effortlessly blending style, sophistication, and a touch of playfulness that had the crowd buzzing with excitement. Style and talent converged to create a truly unforgettable fashion experience. The Titan Medical Center brand is known for high quality, from medical services and therapies to apparel and much more. Titan Medical's extensive involvement in a wide range of community events and initiatives has given them a strong and well-deserved reputation over the years as a reliable, high-quality provider of products and services along with the title of being a community leader. The day was a whirlwind of glamour, beauty, and fashion, filled with an electric energy that filled the room. Models strutted down the catwalk as meticulously crafted couture creations flowed and fluttered with every step. Trend-setting personalities and socialites observed the dazzling display. It was a day that celebrated the art of fashion in all its captivating glory, from swimwear to resort and athletic wear. A true feast for the senses that left an unforgettable impression on all who experienced it. This show is more than just a fashion show. It is a testament to the creativity and vision of designers who push the boundaries of swimwear, resort, and athletic wear fashion. Each piece on the runway tonight is a work of art meticulously crafted to highlight the beauty and confidence of every individual who wears it. From vibrant patterns to sleek, minimalistic designs, the collections reflect a diverse range of styles that cater to every taste and preference. Titan Medical Center, the esteemed presenting sponsor, embodies the spirit of excellence and innovation that drives this event. Their commitment to health, wellness, and aesthetic enhancement aligns perfectly with the values of Tampa Bay Swim Week. As leaders in the medical and wellness industry, Titan Medical Center is dedicated to helping individuals achieve their best selves both inside and out. Their support enables the spectacular showcase of fashion and creativity. A convergence of art and fashion where every model becomes a canvas and every garment tells a story.
round two, day two. Wait till you see what we bring tonight. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my God, that looks so cool. And your mic, tell me something. So we're here, we're, we're going down the elevator, down we go to the first floor, and we're gonna go to the venue where we're having the show. So let's go down there and check it out. And uh, we'll show some of these miles how the full walking's gonna go for the show. Uh, let's go, team tight, let's go. So we're backstage right now, getting organized, rehearsal, seeing how this is all gonna flow. A lot of designers out here, we're gonna walk first, do a rehearsal, go back upstairs, eat, throw on the gear, take some pictures, and come back down and rock this crowd. What's up guys, this is Big Drew, day two, getting ready to do the Titan show tonight, Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024, let's go. What's up guys, here, with my beautiful wife, Sharice, as always. Hey, everybody. And we are here right now, about to go downstairs to walk the runway for round two of Tampa Bay Swim League 2024, presented by Titan Medical Center. As the sun sets over the beautiful Tampa Bay, the runway comes alive with vibrant swimwear designs, each piece reflecting the epitome of style and confidence. But behind the glamour and glitz of this incredible event lies a deeper story of well-being and self-care, championed by Titan Medical Center. At Titan Medical Center, we understand that true beauty starts from within. Our comprehensive range of health and wellness therapies are designed to help you look and feel your absolute best from the inside out. Imagine starting your day with renewed energy thanks to Titan's customized hormone replacement therapies. Or better yet, one of our Titan ECAs. These therapies are meticulously tailored to your unique needs, helping to balance your hormones and enhance your overall vitality. With balanced hormones, your skin glows, your hair shines, and your body feels rejuvenated, allowing you to exude confidence on and off the runway. But it doesn't stop there. Titan Medical Center offers an array of vitamin and amino acid injections that provide essential nutrients directly to your body. These injections are not just about boosting your immune system, they're about enhancing your natural beauty. Vitamins like B12 and biotin promote healthy skin, hair, and nails, giving you that radiant, runway-ready look. For those looking to sculpt and define their physique, Titan's medical weight loss programs offer a personalized approach to achieving your fitness goals. With expert guidance and support, you can shed those extra pounds and tone your body, ensuring that you feel as fabulous as you look in your swimwear. And let's not forget about the importance of recovery and relaxation. Titan Medical Center's wellness therapies include advanced treatments like IV hydration therapy and peptide therapy. These cutting edge treatments help to replenish your body, reduce inflammation, and accelerate recovery so you can maintain your peak performance and keep shining throughout the swim week festivities. As the models strut down the runway showcasing their latest swimwear trends, remember that their confidence and poise are not just a result of stunning designs, but also a commitment to health and wellness. Titan Medical Center's therapies empower individuals to take control of their well-being, enhancing their natural beauty and allowing them to shine. So together, let's redefine beauty, proving that when you invest in your health, you unlock a world of possibilities. Thank you so much for joining us in this celebration of fashion, health, and wellness. Here's to looking and feeling your best with Titan Medical Center, the proud presenting sponsor of Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024.
So that's it, guys. Round two, day two of Tampa Bay Swim Week 2024, officially in the books. And Tight Medical Center came out here and we did what I knew we were gonna do. I'm so proud of my team. I'm so proud of Destiny. And I'm so proud of this event. You know, it was just a great event through and through. I agree. And you know what? I don't usually talk in these, but I do wanna take a second to give a big shout out to my husband, John, for putting together all these awesome designs. I mean, he's the one, the man behind the scenes, putting together <laughs> these really cool outfits for the guys, the girls, design these one pieces and all that. So, I mean, good job, John. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, I love the design, I love my Titans, not only feeling good, but looking good in the Titan gear and tight wear that we have. So I'm super excited for the future and super excited for all the events that are coming up with Titan Medical Center. So I hope you guys are gonna get involved. If not, you need to get involved. Join the Titan lifestyle today. Feel good, look good, and perform your best, just like we know you can and we can help you do. So that's it, that's a wrap. Thank you guys, I love you guys, and uh, big shout out. Wait till next year, cause it's gonna be even bigger and badder, I promise. Life's a little crazy for me. I am not sleeping well. Do you have any recommendations? Of course, I've got something all natural. Our Titan Serenity has taurine, L-theanine, and magnesium. It's going to relax you, put you in a deep sleep, so you don't keep waking up, or you can go to sleep when you really want to. And it's gonna distribute hormones and all kinds of other good things for the magnesium. Easy, shut the body down and let it regrow, get my sleep, get better. Thank you, Titan Medical. Don't accept an alternative. Don't accept a substitute. Come to the real deal. Titan Medical Center is here for you to make you feel better, look better, and perform better every single day. So call or text us to get started on your new quality of life. What's up guys, John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey everybody. And we are back with another tight medical movie review, just, just for, for you. you. So this week we got to see A Quiet Place, day one. So this was a follow-up sequel to the first two Quiet Places. And if you guys don't remember those, the first one had John Krasinski from The Office, and I was just explaining with Emily Blunt and two kids. At the end, he died in that first one. If you didn't watch it, sorry for the spoiler. And then in two, it was just her and the kids. This is way before all of that, because if you've seen the first one or the second one, you really don't know how it happened. How did they invade Earth? What's going on? Who are these aliens that are, you know, going after anything that makes a sound over a decimal of somewhat of 90 or whatever it was in the movie they said. Uh -huh. So at this point, this is supposed to tell the story of how they came. And you know, I, I think the beginning was and pretty good. we still good. don't know how they came. We don't know how they came. So I'm not, yeah, it's gonna spoil it for you. We don't know how they came still at this point. We do know- Thank you for the prequel. We still have we no do, idea we do, we do how you got here. We do know how, how they hit Earth and kind of what they were doing when they first hit Earth. Right, I guess. Same degree. thing they were doing in the other ones, running up and down the streets. Yeah, so, but you didn't see as many of them like you did in this one in the first two. There was like one that popped out or maybe two or three. I'm talking about hundreds of these things. So it was like literally like stampeding like New York City and everything like that. So it was pretty cool. There's a lot of humans that showed what the human interaction was, I guess, in the beginning. Because, you know, in the first two, there wasn't very much human interaction between those kids and Emily Blunt and John Krasinski with anybody else, right? right? So you kind of seen that. Um, you know, I, I thought that maybe they could have had the main character have a different story, I guess, to a certain degree, right? I mean, there's a little... I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't really recall an actual story. In there the wasn't no story in the movie. So I asked three ago. There wasn't a story, it was a story about a cat running the streets of New York with a girl that wanted pizza. That had cancer. That, that's go. that's kind of what it was. That's what it was. It was. Yeah. It was. And Sorry to be the spoiler. They ever. rolled the streets. I mean, there wasn't really a storyline. This is where they really fell short, in my opinion, because it really wasn't keeping me. It was just these two like walking around the city the whole time, and it wasn't a lot of action. No, suspense. they just because it's a quiet place, so they're not talking, right? So you have to, if you're gonna be in a movie like the the previous movies, at least like. I feel like things were actually happening, so you were kind of like still like in tuned. Yeah. But this one is just like, 
They were in one place and then went to another place. The world was quiet and yeah. then another quiet place yeah. and then kept going to quiet places. Yeah. And it was just very quiet theater. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I think the, the movie could have been a lot better than what it was, right? I mean, they already had the basis of these first two movies. They could have really movie expanded on that. It sucked. Like, detail. It sucked. Um, but yeah, I would have to get, yeah, I'd have to definitely give this movie probably a 1.7. I'm going to give it uh, a 1.1. It was that bad. 1.7, 1.1, was that what it was? I mean, can I go to like a 0 0.5? You can. Great. It's a 0 0.5. Yikes. Just Re -rate. even lower. Re -rate. So at that point, listen, you heard it from us. Go see it for yourselves. Um, that's Quiet Place Day 1. We'll see you next time at the movies. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife right here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, information, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. That's right. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because you can just store these tips for later and be able to utilize them when you do find that special someone that you want to get in a relationship with. And hopefully they'll reciprocate all the great things that you're going to bring to that relationship. So with no further ado, let's get into this week's topic. And this week, um, you know, I, honestly, we were just sitting down with one of my friends. And we were just talking. I'm like, what do you think some people would want to know about? And, you know, at that point, like he's been single in relationships, you know, and, and just around that whole game out there, what's going on. And it's kind of crazy what is going on out there because people have so many different options and opportunities and I apps want to play and, this game. and all these different things that take them in so many different directions or distract them from really putting their eye on the prize and what they have in front of them might be better than what they think is going to be better over that fence yeah it's never greener on the other side never greener on the other side maybe sometimes you know what not I'm, usually i'd water your own lawn first and see if you're good before <laughs> yeah, I go it. somewhere else yeah i like that analogy right? yeah yeah i like that you know work on yourself before you start trying to go somewhere else and think it's going to be better so, with, uh, with no further ado, we were talking about the topic of the day. And the topic of the day is, what do you do when your, your partner says, and you're, you're trying to get romantic, I'm tired. You know, I feel like they don't usually even say that. I feel like you, like, kind of I got a headache. I got a headache. <laughs> I'm tired. Coming up with all the excuses. Listen, there are definitely people out there that still Maybe they use, do, yeah. And they, they probably, I would say, half of them are probably really tired. Like, they're just worn out from the day. Yeah. And that, Kids, job, yeah, I everything. Mean, you know, it, it all depends on I mean, really what's going on on that day and yeah, what they're dealing with, right? And is this a one-time occurrence or is this a multi-type occurrence, yeah. right? So if it happens one time, they're like, all right, well, you know, I'm just tired. But if it's happening over and over and over again, this can be kind of frustrating to the partner, whether it's a girl or a guy, yeah. right? It does work both ways. Because it's almost a form of rejection, to a certain extent, some people might feel like that, even if that is not the case. Um, so at that point, what are you going to do? So if my partner, you know, let's say that I was tired. I kept telling her, she was like, you know, she's getting real cute for me. She's trying to do some special things. And at that point, I'm just like, listen, she's on. I'm just I would out. feel incredibly rejected right? considering that I don't get cute and do special things all the time because I am actually tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true statement. This is not that this. So it's whole... the flip side to it. Are they getting cute for you or not? Because they're tired. Too bad. Hey, you Take know? some Red Bull or coffee. Take a Titan Therapy. Pop an ECA. Go put on an Turk outfit up. and Turk put up. your pigtails in. Turk he up. says. <laughs> but, right, so you know. So I mean, that, that's the case, right? You know, whether it's somebody that says, hey, "Listen, I'm, I'm working all day. I'm too tired to even get romantic," or somebody like, "Listen, like when somebody gets." Fresh with them, as far as their partner, they're just like, I'm just too tired. I, I can't do this. So what do you do? Right? Because this is not something that's going to last long, I would say. Or if it does, it's going to build up um, some frustration and some maybe some negative thoughts towards you from your partner. Yeah, you might be thinking something's actually wrong. Yeah. Or, you know, it, so it, it can create that animosity almost, too. So at that point, what are you going to do? Well, you yourself might not know that anything is wrong. You just want to say, hey, listen, everything's fine with me. I just, you know, I'm working a lot of hours every day. I'm super stressed, and this is what it is. 
And your partner's like, listen, like, what can I do for you? So if it's a stress thing, then you guys need to go find some stress, de-stressful activities to do, right? Yeah, do something fun. Do kind something. Kind of gets your mind off things. Yeah, we well, don't have to think. And that's where yeah. the movie's coming up. Yeah, our, mo- because, our movies, it you forces you to pay attention, like what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you're thinking about the movie and what's going on in the movie and nothing else, right? But other people, they can't do that. So find some activity that de-stresses you. And if that's the case with de-stressing, you should feel a lot better after de-stressing, whether it's vacation, whatever it is, and you should go back. And then you start getting back into the normal things, right? Uh, if it's not, right? If it's not a stressful thing and then just, you know, I, I don't know. As we get older, <laughs> we're going to start declining in a whole bunch of things. And some of those things are going to be hormones. And hormones with the decline are going to cause us to be tired, fatigued, um, have low libido possibly. Give you vaginal dryness. Vaginal dryness. That's never fun. Skin. At all. Mental clarity is gone with, you know, with brain fog and such. So this could be affecting your 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 partner's performance. And this could happen in the ages of 30 or higher, right? I mean, 20s. Even younger. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's happening to 20-year-olds and stuff like that as far as hormone imbalances or deficiencies. But, you know, you don't really think that, right? You think in their 20s they shouldn't have any of these issues or problems. Mm-hmm. But it could be a problem. Right. And that's where we're really getting a blood test to check to see what these things do. And if you guys are interested, Type Medical Center can help you out nationwide, wherever you guys are at, with blood testing for you or your partner, so male and female, just to see what's going on so you have a clear picture and can make an educated decision about what you want to do. So at that point, like, it could be hormones. It could be that they're deficient in some of these different things and they don't have the energy to get through the day. And at that point, they don't have the libido or the drive to even want to have relations with their partner. Yeah, that might not be the only thing that they don't want to do. They might want to not do anything. You know what I mean? Like, they're getting pushed to go to work, pushed to take the kids to school, pushed to do everything. You got to ask too. Like, so this is a different answer for everybody. It's, it's quite, uh, it's funny when I ask people, right? So what is the average or what is to be expected, right? <laughs> you know, I'm going with this. As far as you to be, you know, romantic. romantic okay. We'll use this for our ABC show. But um, be romantic per week. Mm-hmm. Is it one time a week? Is it two times a week? Is it every other week? Is it every day? Every other day? I just, I'm curious to know, like... Every maybe, other month? Yeah. That would be a problem. Six months? A year? If you are waiting six months, I would check his phone. So, listen, I, I definitely, me and her have definitely come across people who have said every one of these numbers. Yes. Not so all, all over the board. All over the board. When I hear six months or a year, there's a serious problem. Yeah. There's definitely a problem with communication. There's definitely a problem in your romantic bedroom life. And that problem needs to get fixed sooner than later. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, if it's a medical condition, that's one thing, right? right? But if it's not a medical condition, then you and your partner are not on the same page. So let's rewind this real quick because I've myself had medical conditions, right? So even if you have a medical condition, you can still please your partner in other ways, there's a ton of different ways that you can accomplish this job. So I don't want to hear that you have a medical problem outside of a week, maybe two weeks tops. But you got to get creative after that and then, you know, start to think like, what's another way that I can please my partner if I don't feel good or I have cramps or who knows? You know what I mean? Like it could be a million different things I can list right now. But I mean, okay, let's say you fall off the top of a building and you break your legs. Okay, that's a serious medical condition. We want to make sure you feel a little bit better. You know, the guy's in a coma for a month. Well, he's in a coma. Something where (laughs) you cannot. That's exactly what I said. (laughs) So something you you cannot, you know. No, but I'm serious. It's like a thing, though, because like even you really do need to think about that. Like, you know, some people will come up with 100 excuses as to why they can't please their partner, but there's really a a hundred different ways you can combat that to do something for your partner. And sometimes you, you might even be able to be romantic by doing other things where you guys connect. You know what I mean? Like us women out there, I'm not speaking for everybody, but us women, we don't just connect physically, right? We connect emotionally, mentally, that kind of stuff. So we want to make sure that, you know, if you go on nice dates and you really love each other and cuddle, like, you know, sometimes I just want to cuddle with John, you know, just, you know, however long I can fit in this little nook. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs like that because it's right. He, he knows he knows it's true. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's true. So, I mean, there's so many different things you need to look at, but don't let it keep going. 
whatever it is. And that's yeah. the point to this. Nip in the butt. Make sure you guys are setting that side of time. And no matter if you got kids, jobs, whatever it is, make it a priority because physical health is important, mental health is important, and sexual health is important. Mm-hmm. And that goes right along with emotional, mm-hmm. right? So at that point, you need these things to be healthy. That's it, guys, though. Another great Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. DVR it if you have to. Watch it live. Or if you can't do either one of those, make sure you go to our social media platforms like YouTube. Type up Type Medical Center. Search it out. You guys will get to see all the great Cupid Corner episodes and a lot more cool content from me and Sharice. We and go all back the years. So yes. we've got a lot, a lot of great, great shows for you guys. Maybe you guys missed some stuff. Maybe you guys want to bookmark it. Maybe you want to watch it again. So we'll be back next Sunday. Another Cupid's Corner, ABC. We'll see you then. See you then.